November the 15th, 2021 it is, and I would like to give the health status on myself uh, as per exactly what is happening in respect to my health situation. Um, I am getting some kind of a really, really funny feedbacks. Yesterday, my mother would go and spilled pomegranate apple juice all over the stairway. No, I did, I really did use a container where I placed a pomegranate apple inside of the fridge to keep one cool. Uh, and the container was broken off yesterday. Uh, without my knowledge, the container was cracked, uh, and I did use one to even, I came here and I drink this juice and the juice ran here on a clothing and I took one container back to uh, to to a kitchen quickly and I realized that container on the bottom somebody have break through that container with some kind of a sharp object that's the container which I used to have stored this pomegranate apple um, without any rationale whatsoever, the container appears was used to spill pomegranate juice all over the stairs. Is what my mother pointed me out this morning that the pomegranate apple juice is all over the stairs. Well, I'm gonna answer this question like this Russians inside of this house, inside of Poland, have forgotten to flush the toilet behind themselves. Myself, not a single fucking time, not once. And it's something I have used greatly, evidently to disturb them, to interrupt their mental process if there was anything left out of that one when I was subjected to MK Ultra. That was one of the issues that I would use whenever I had the opportunity that somebody found that Russian would not flush the toilet. That means that these people were mind absent completely. Now that my mother attributed me that I left a juice all over the stairs which I would not even go to with this container. Now this is a red juice like from blood juice. Something she told me on that MK Ultra when it's gonna be already too late for you I am gonna do. So this is why this video uh, I definitely didn't have no reason to go to the stairs with a container. On the stairways, I did go to get myself a pomegranate apple. But the stairways are actually locked with a key. Every time, whenever I want to reach the stairways, I have to unlock the key with the key, the doors, go out and then lock the doors again behind myself. Uh, so it's not that I would walk around there and go with the container where I kept, where I kept, uh, pomegranate apples uh, whenever I uh, split one that I would go and spill this all over the place this is kind of shit I don't do I just don't do it okay that you have to go and flush the fucking toilet once you use one uh, I'm gonna put it this way If you don't, I'll consider you a mentally retarded. Fuck this. I don't care what kind of problems you have. If you don't, 
uh, go to the college, start some kind of language skill class, start doing something for your brain, um, become aware about the fuck you are doing in your surroundings around yourself so you don't do that kind of stuff. I'm sensitive to it. I don't see any kind of, even with what I'm going to discuss today, that was eventually used at large uh, for the reasons I'm going to specify, you should flush a toilet, doesn't matter what I want to say with this statement. Even with, even if you get three hours of sleep, they give you, or four hours of sleep. Once you use the toilet, you are to flush one, leave one clean, as simple as this. I don't care what you do with your ass, but this is the way it is. There is no excuse for that matter. Uh, something that uh, rules promised me I'm gonna be doing too we're gonna see you we're gonna see you and then you have this schizophrenic Ursula von der Leyen and her husband these are schizophrenics uh, that claim that I I don't know that I heard the feelings you heard the feeling of the Sergei and we're gonna do this to you we're gonna do that to you um, it doesn't matter what you do, even, you go, even if you're going to find a way around uh, the cancer we're going to do to you, and it was a cancer, and the Kirka Pharmaceutical claimed that it was a, um, it, it's a hypertension, and it was a diabetes, and it was uh, whatever the fuck it was, and it was that I was picking my nose, it's going to be infection, and it's going to be all kinds of shit it was. Um, eventually, Rus, um, eventually German came up with a theory that the rugs here, the rugs are what Heiko, Heiko, the German, Hermann the German, the husband from Ursula von der Leyen, von der Leyen, schizophrenic von der Leyen, measured between 12 to 1500 units for the rug inside of the room, the cancer units, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, whatever the fuck that means, it's called the cancer units. And for my mama room, only uh, 300 units of me being exposed to cancer because of the rug here, three times higher. Uh, than my mama. Come on, man. Uh, fact of the matter is that next video I'm going to release, you're going to hear what the fuck I am dealing with here, here with your own ears. <clears throat> Not only these people work together, this is a scum, this is a filth. Uh, from Buckingham Palace claimed me under MK Ultra, that we're gonna do something, but you will, we will never tell what you will not know. And they were fuck that. There were some people that said they're gonna use some kind of clamp, something to squeeze the blood flow to your head, because this is the last symptom I'm left with. I don't have any other symptoms, and what I am experiencing is not cannot be rationally justified to anything. It's the stuff that reappeared time and again when I was subjected to MK Ultra. My family, my dear friends, entire family, that goes as far as mama, papa, and especially my niece, in one word, all right? In 95, in 96, in 97, in 98, the Slovenian psychiatrists, Oh, there's big politicians along there, Milan Kuchan. The brain, the brain, the brain behind the big operation, the brain. I mean, I don't mean operation. These people here were fucking 
thousand years behind beers when Americans started the brain mapping at the local hospital here in Novo Mesto literally uh, I don't know what part exactly they have done, but they have taken me to Switzerland and here in Novo Mesto they started with something that I had to go to a hospital and they were doing all kinds of shit. I don't know what exactly they were doing. Um, these people didn't even know. When it comes to brain per okay I'm being a little sarcastic where the small and where the big brain are they didn't know shit from toe to put it plain and simple there was no brain it was just anger frustration to a such a degree that my knees, my lovely knees, that's a Urska Weber, Feber, Golup, Golup, whose family hosted literally Slobodan Milosevic, that's a, a serial killer from the Balkans, <laughs> was indicted to, to a hawk court for the war criminal. That's a war criminal, basically. The same like a Karadzic. That kind of stuff. They hosted these people inside of the house because, because, well, they were somehow related to us, right? Uh, through my sister's marriage with these people. And so these are the most, there was the most uh, pro Yugoslav people. And since they alone did not know the people around here that would trust so much, and since I was brought to Belgrade in 95, and in Bosnian part of, in a Serbian part of Bosnia and so on, this is how it all started. And then you would have people from local companies that would deliver the envelopes with the cash inside to these people. And it would just go like this, just put them in here. and. To off to Belgrade to do some more crime uh, against Croatian, against Bosnia. This is the way it was. And so the Slovenian brainiacs with the Western brainiacs, if this is not disgusting, if this is not humiliating for the West, I guess it's not. I guess for them it's okay. It's all right. Anything goes there, I guess. Figure it out. It was not all of them like this in the West, no, it was not all of them like that. But when I released today about what Norwegian King did, who was always on my side in respect to even Anders Breivik, who was a MK Ultra staff member that appeared in Belarus for the first time in 99. Then he went missing for two years and then he reappeared there again in 2001 and 2002. He was a MK Ultra staff member from Norway, Anders Bering Breivik. Because Norwegian King, who was always on my side, and just me being in, and then this was as much as an, an, an individual was on my side that possibly could be on my side, that was a Norwegian King. He was down to earth down to earth to his own principles and his own principles ended with the words to me as far as we are gonna see whether it's gonna be United Nations uh, that's gonna give us or is gonna be the other side the Russian side uh, which one of the two we're gonna go along with whoever is gonna give us the Russian side give us means you're going to have a global Nazi plan. That shit is already happening. The United Nations, um, <clears throat> this you're going to have to ask Mr. Thedros Adanom of Tigray, who have written that a Tigray region, his homeland, the Ethiopian part of homeland, 
uh, is under severe attack and is demanding a NATO intervention there. That kind of stuff. Or involved since 1998 with Afverti, that's his president who paid for his college degree in London, paid his way to London. Or maybe you can ask Anton Guterres, involved since 1995 with his family, that's a boss from United Nations organization as whole. Who's going to give him more to Norwegian king? I'm talking about Angela Merkel. Man, when I'm talking about Norwegian king, you already know you are like this, all of you together. I don't hold anything special in it for you anymore because why? Well, watch this video and you're going to learn why. The Brainiacs stated to American counterparts, to Western delegation, they stated in repeatedly, and one of the Brainiacs also was international philosopher, Slavoj Žižek, Slavoj, you know, like a Slavic, Slavojko, Slavojko. Do it, I'm not making fun out of Russians or Slavic people, but I think, as a Slavic person, I would be disgusted for somebody to give himself the right to use that kind of name, for one thing. If I would learn what a dung, what a piece of shit that individual is, if you really give something on yourself, and as a Russian, I don't think I would go along some dwarf that carries around in his sleeve a poison and sips one on occasion in a cups of coffee and tea uh, whenever people use a toilet during their visits. I would be ashamed of that. That's like a country or maybe entire Slavlihood that is just as big as the people that represent one. And in this case, when it comes to Slavoj, uh, when it comes to Vladimir Putanovich, things couldn't be worse for you. In 95, in 96, in, in 95, 96, the psychiatrists were still optimistic. In 97, it was already difficult. They claimed to American counterpart in 98, we're going to handle him all right. They did not accomplish to me anything. All the torture, beatings, all the shit they have done, I can tell you, mental health-wise, the strength of my mental health was still impeccable. There was not a scratch. <laughs> Despite thousands of death threats they managed to accomplish nothing what we do however a problem it finally came out completely as honest because they couldn't hide and that was my niece that's a Urshka Golob Weber became a Weber got married to the individual here from Trebnie Weber is his name Mitya Weber in his uh Doctor of Science here at uh, high school for um, mechanical engineering, electronic, is a teacher, excellent individual according to Angela Merkel, that's a electronic doctor of science has a degree i talked to you about the german uh, bullshit in respect to electronic angela merkel was in about all those companies siemens and all that stuff that was formed in germany for the sake of production for the chips and all kinds of stuff they were uh, electronic stuff they were assembling on a rapid scale when compared to the rest of the world with a much higher sophistication of the machines they developed and 
it appears that Slovenian government figure out that for a suitable husband to someone so close to me like my niece it would have been the best thing for them to find somebody who would be in electronic engineering and so they got this guy who in my opinion also is a schizophrenic uh, in my opinion is deeply mentally ill individual because a normal individual would not go and tell you to throw yourself over the bridge to liberate yourself from the brain implants because it's the only way you're going to get the brain implants from your head and the guy diligently spent here in Lorchno on the bridge for about half an hour on several occasions he would take me there and walk me back and forth and talk me with the police on each side of the bridge guarding observing the whole thing it, normal in my opinion this guy is not and the guy who um, father died when he was age 50 so that he would go and claim me that I'm gonna die when I'm age 50 and his papa had a cancer but it really didn't have nothing to do with me but maybe in his ill head maybe did have something to do with me I have no fucking idea because I don't know which one of these people was more insaner than the other it's just a, a lot of brainy people that assembled around me despite the degrees you have you might have that doesn't mean really that you are a normal person in your head that does not guarantee you anything it's just a degree sometimes the people that suffer from schizophrenia paranoia are actually more gifted as a students maybe it's that lunacy factor that attributes to their excellence or something like this i heard a lot of that we're gonna manage him therefore but we don't know how what we're gonna do with her yeah my niece couldn't hide they assumed somehow it's not gonna be necessary to worry about her too much because when the psychiatrist are busy with me and she would come she would be along and observe this harrowing um they were too just too absorbed with me how to cause her mental damage they alone from my understanding from my observation of these people I had to wonder sometimes based on what they were doing I said to myself well because of so shitty job they were doing I kind of figure out that if I was doing what they're doing I would have been much more proficient efficient better at what the fuck they were doing with these scenarios and so I had to wonder like it or not whether these people are either faking it or they are learning it completely from scratch because it became clear what they are trying with this shit what they are trying to accomplish it's just to me they look like imbeciles like imbeciles like childish almost like like on a level like in a in a grammar school that somebody would come to you and would start to stress bullshit uh that he would believe is gonna take you into some kind of paranoia that you're gonna become paranoid or something like this but you already know that's not gonna happen that's exactly the best what i can explain as far as this psychiatry psychologist here they didn't know what the fuck they were doing as far as i'm concerned uh, that's how I rated them basically that's why I was not concerned with whatever blah, 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 they were doing the violence that was different when they started with the beatings and uh, with abuse in front of memorials and inside of the villages and stuff like this man uh, you know that's a violence when somebody's coming in your face uh, you are drugged up and is screaming at you and is and they beat you hit you occasionally can you avoid that no the feelings for that you cannot avoid obviously not but intellectually when 
we interacted every time i realized that my knees it was becoming more and more fucking stupid less and less and less capable to mentally handle the issues a refrain herself from idiotic statements she had made uh, demonstrating clearly that her mental health and it was interesting because this was like despite psychiatrists portion of this psychiatrist on the side they were talking to her how to view me how to handle the mental issues she suffered from yes her daddy would go sometimes and lock her inside of the toilet for hours just basically to punish her for her craziness for her illness that she carried around basically if she wouldn't get something her way it was just like with my father she would throw herself in the floor smash herself against the wall beat the floor whatever uh, and cry and do stuff stupid shit like this until mommy uh, or her grandma my mommy would give clear the way for her to have it her way this is how this was but her dad would just go and fucking lock her inside of the bathroom for several hours because he couldn't tolerate this kind of idiotic shit everybody was guilty to her for everything this was his, her entire life she was a good student though in the school she was she had a like i said there were some schizophrenic people paranoid people that are otherwise excellent students but that doesn't mean that you're not mentally ill that doesn't mean in fact that you should not seek professional help for it in her case despite professional help she received it proved that she was not capable to participate in more these sessions therefore she hated me on a plain side so much that it wasn't because she would feel sorry for me it was because she hated me so much that she just couldn't that she just couldn't couldn't handle herself at all a prince charles was more encouraging he figured out that they're gonna make me ill and for sure they're gonna cure her and it's gonna be all good for sure that this is just a the mental illness according to the charles this is just a something that's not a DNA related this is just a uh, splat of collagen basically depends on environment in your surroundings basically that was according to him and so I suppose that Charles Prince William and Harry which guaranteed me for Poland when I'm gonna be inside of the cold garage with water so cold that it is true that the people that wash their heads in there they screamed from the pain in the head when they wash themselves I suppose Charlie realized that maybe there is something to DNA that it's got to do with it because I just didn't fucking scream like other people did and you know the truth is that when you are mentally weak ill all that shit that otherwise on behalf of charlie from britannia now is going to become a king of the britain you can hide you can hide this in a person and that's exactly what they have accomplished with my family they manage they teach them how to behave in the public how to properly act now that's the proper word is basically to act in front of cameras so that they don't look so crazy schizophrenic ah oh, my mom i used the other day expression to which i have witnessed my entire life as far as my father uh she referred to me when i went for investigation to lochna here um 
with the expression she referred her entire life to my father uh, and that expression was Hippo Honda, Hippo Honda, Hippo Honda because my, my papa, my papa would have like, how can I say, like entire drawer like this, uh, no fucking shit, seriously, entire fucking drawer of medications, he would have entire drawer of medications that um, the doctors prescribed him to on his requests, uh, if the doctor would not prescribe him, then the doctor was no fucking good, whatever. <laughs> and he would go and eat this shit just out of blue, man. Uh, just would go and fucking swallow, just would go and <laughs> take this, like a fucking fist, and just go uh, all over, and blah, 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 and drink, and this and that. Mama referred to him as a hippo hunter. He was a hippo hunter. He put the gun barrel in my face, he fucking ran with the uh, he forts behind me. He chased me one time kilometer here, ran after me with the idea that she's gonna choke me when he brought me from the school. Blame me pretty much for everything that disappeared. Blamed mama for everything that disappeared. Blamed his co-workers that were fucking him in a Kirka pharmaceutical. They were everybody was doing something bad to him, and then opportunity. Wow. You get a fucking retirement earlier than what you should based on your <coughs> asthma shit. Bronchitis. Oh, he would choke every fucking night. Oh, they fucking know. You have no idea how bad disease is, this shit. How bad this stuff is. You have no fucking idea. Even more so when you push yourself. When you amplify the cough. And the wound spreads itself, becomes bigger. Not like the physicians tell you, try to hold on to it, drink warm, drink liquid. The fucker doesn't want to drink water. He doesn't give a fuck. He wants to look good. And he looks good whenever he's pushing himself so that he have a cough, so that other people feel sorry for him. Lots of this stuff in my family. And so they figure out we're gonna make him tour. But it just didn't happen. And the more the time went by, if I cite a psychiatrist, he stated to his Western counterparts, we're gonna handle him all right, but we don't know how we're gonna handle her. That was for my niece. Because she was the one, her hatred was so deep that she couldn't handle her issues. Not in front of me, not in front of this, not in front of that. And boy, I was drugged up. When she got in my face, just like these Russians, uh, a sorry ass that got in my face when I was drugged up and tried to abuse me with a really stuff that I think the third grader in a uh, grammar school would laugh too. I did my best to return back. And the poor little thing, man, you could not but start to feel sorry for her. Because even that I was drugged up, even with her brain and with everything, her health continued to deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorate. This is how retarded these people are. And this is the genius of Slavoj Žižek, of Milan Koč, and of these smart people that we have here in Slovenia. This is what, what we are made of here in Slovenia. This is what the Slavic culture is. And if it's not, then wake the fuck up and start doing your stuff that you're supposed to. Don't just fucking throw yourself against the floor and go ta 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 Like Donald Trump would say, protest. Start fucking cleaning your shit in your heads. Get your shit together. Because nothing changed here. Since 95, since 96, since 97, 98. You can hide the disease. The disease, however, is based on a laziness. 
laziness eventually is the root, is the main cause of the disease, the envy. That's the hatred, the source of hatred that poisoned you folks. I went, whichever way I went, from Yugoslavia. But the hatred that followed me around by the people who couldn't see themselves elsewhere than <clears throat> behind the walls of these apartment buildings, houses, appears couldn't find way out, no matter what. And so I had to be guilty for absolutely everything. I had to be guilty to be alive, literally, because of the incompetence of the people, because the people that are incompetent, it's like they say, in Serbian language, they say, uh, serbo croat language, they say, Lošem kurcu svaka dlaka smeta. To the bad dick, it's every hell follicle that makes a problem kind of attitude. I'm tired of it. Start cleaning your shit. Start doing your stuff because you stink with your ideas. I had a fucking ideas how I have to see the greatness of, uh, I don't know, car manufacturer in Eastern Europe. I told them, you didn't make a single fucking engine one engine no it's true they didn't make a single fucking engine and you want to talk to me about your accomplishments like where the fuck are they it's the attitude that made eastern europe sleep not only fall behind but they would sleep on a single car model for 50 fucking years they would produce the same fucking car with the same fucking engine they got from the west from the fiat let's say they would have western designers design the fucking cars for them and then they would sleep with a fucking car for 50 fucking years they would build the same fucking car the apartments that would look like a cubes everything was done in the same module the same the same fucking thing the same time and over again and somebody had to be guilty for it all well fuck you i'm not here to be guilty for you sorry my guilt is over with after the spine breaking procedure in poland i have no fucking remorse for you you're gonna have to do better health wise is a simple thing Mrs. von der Leyen, listen, I don't give a shit about really anybody, for that matter. Because you know what? To tell you the truth, I don't have a tolerance for stupidity. The idiot is a universal thing. It's not only... It doesn't only pertain to people from Russia or from Slovenia or from Serbia, or from Poland, or from whatever. It's more that attitude in Eastern Europe that if you acknowledge somebody as an idiot, then it's a vendetta. Vendetta all the way. Rather than to ask yourself if something is really wrong with me and let me improve myself, it's a... It's the only argument people know from here. In the West, that kind of argument jail you. It's a culture that lends you behind the bars. We did not get rid of that culture yet. It's a culture of tolerance, which is based on a prison cells. It's not so democratic at all. It's a lot of people that find their way in there. That's why it's sometimes worse stuff that happens in the West than it's happening in the East. Like I said, it's not restrained. It's not it doesn't center itself on a certain part of the world. It's universal. You can have an idiot in Germany, in the United States of America, and you can have a king cretin in Norway. You have stuff all over the world. You have idiot. You have animal. 
you have a schizophrenics, paranoids that are on a top positions in king chairs like Charles, Windsor, Battenberg from London. It's a universal thing. What does separates the schizophrenics, schizos, like Prince William, I believe is, like Prince Harry, I believe is, and I'm not laughing to this medical conditions of these people. They did demonstrate weaknesses to me. It's what it makes me believe. He had a problem with the Camilla, with the blue dress, and, and uh, with a lot of issues pertaining to myself that I believe any professional could, if open, could easily rate him as with some sort of mental deficiency issues. The only what separate us, the only what separates us, these titles from the West that they obtain, this uh, wealth, financial status, uh, statuses that makes them immune. Like in my case, they have created with my niece. When she got her degree. She doesn't have to be. This is maybe even is a bigger problem with these degrees because people get them, so they would be immune. In, in Yugoslavia, they used to say. If you're not going to get degree, you're going to be like a regular worker on the street. Well, I think this is everything that's wrong with that kind of attitude. You know, I think that a capitalism have a very, very serious flaws. I think the human being is a cell. And a society is a body. And for that body to function properly, people have to be built strong, resistant to bullshit. Then something can happen. China, I think, demonstrated pretty well that there is a way through all that bullshit I mentioned to cut through by building an individual based on toughness what one can take. Japan is a good good example of that. If I would say Japan, Japan would be, in my opinion, more like society that you know, the Germany too that worked greatly toward uh, what I stated, toward these kind of goals. You can hide mental illness. You can, as in this case, the psychiatrists, to give a full-time school, man. It's like, you go to the college, you go to the high school, they train people how to, how to hide me mental illness. The outbreaks, the uncontrolled outbreaks, they refer to that, because she was not capable to control herself. She would just get into some kind of schizoic. That's why I know it's a schizophrenia. My niece is a heavy schizophrenic. You subject her to a little harsher treatment, and you're going to have like a broom open itself out. And there you go. It flies out, the butterfly. The treatment that did not prove beyond any shit is case with me. And for what I was taught, It's not going to be, and it's why I also believe, it's not going to be uh, really uh, illness that's going to be related to diabetes or this or that. They told me they're going to use something to block the artery, whatever it is, to create the pressure in my head. That stuff is going to be implant remotely controlled either through the Wi-Fi most likely wherever the Wi-Fi is that's pretty much what I was told the case is going to be and it's the stuff the only symptom I'm left with 183 centimeters tall six foot tall with 70 71 kilos on me 
the Olympic Games, for which I was told in 2017, this shit started before I was released from Belarus. They did something to me. They told me also, we're not gonna tell you what's gonna be, but Dwayne Rock Johnson is very familiarized with this. Obama told me it's gonna look like, uh, you're not gonna be able to prove anything because it's gonna look like a disease. It's gonna look like a disease. Uh, it's, it's, it, he said they have quite a few wealthy people with that. They control people. They, and they dreamed about how the wealthy people uh, don't, that you're not gonna be allowed to be in a politics. This is like a fucking controlling environment that somebody squeezes and it fucks you up. Next to what I have really, really well described was a test for a British Special Forces. That's a direct energy weapon for which exactly I was described it's going to be. They actually told me, they told me if it's not going to be 10 minutes at least, that you're going to need to gather yourself, to come together. When we hit you with that, we're going to repeat that stuff to you. And I did describe that stuff on a news site how they got that stuff in 2002. Prince Andrew got them that. It was a Prince Philip. I did describe exactly how it is. It was a Prince Philip that always participated in this special forces, this uh, tests, evaluations, and stuff like this that would go around and observe to his old age people, uh, trainees on their military journeys prior to the military journeys where they were training on how they perform performance and stuff like this. I described that. This is not a regular procedure. This is a bullshit procedure. They will make you look like you are fading away, like you are suffering from cancer, from diabetes, from the hypertension, supported by the local pharmaceutical company here with all kinds of diarrhea. Oh, it's going to be hypertension, it's going to be too late, it's going to be this, you know, we're going to... They deliver you like a monthly letter, like a journal from this company. And they showed me the pictures that's gonna be, we're gonna this, and just, just to remind you that my daddy, not that I would love to bronchitis or asthma, uh, this is a lunatic that have gone as far as insisting me along the niece's husband. That's why I know the guy is a lunatic. You can have a degree but you're mentally ill person, it doesn't really matter. When you do stuff like this, you definitely are provenly mentally ill person. And it doesn't matter even if Slavoj Žižek has a status of mainstream media as an international philosopher. It doesn't fucking matter. Mentally ill is just what it is. That's all the fuck there is to it. Stop sleeping on your fucking diplomas. Stop sleeping on your fucking... Lada. Oh, I love the Lada Samara. That's my favorite car. But other Ladas that they would produce, the same fucking cars, Yugo, Lada, Moskvich, and all this shit. The same fucking model for 50 years. One model, one design, one fucking car. Never created a single fuel engine. Forget about diesel. We, did we never have a diesel engine, one single diesel engine they would create in Eastern Europe. Because, because everything that would present a challenge, like somebody like myself that would go about and start fucking with the people, demanding to them to do some more, he would be just a knowledge, he's a threat, and killed, basically, poisoned. That's how far we have gotten here in Eastern Europe. That's all the fuck we managed because of the greatness that is in us, at least in some of us that we cannot move beyond ourselves, that we just have to go and uh, retaliate, avenge uh, whatever they do to us. Some of us can go beyond stars. Some of majority of the society can go past the toilets. 
without forgetting to even flush one. <sighs> okay. I don't think I have anything else to say here. They did some shit to me. Um, what it is, I don't know. I know that is creating a pressure seal. The only issue I'm left with, I don't have absolutely any kind of issue other than that. Um, and shit cannot be explained. My mama left yesterday fucking mess on the stairways leaving from pomegranate apple stains of this juice all over the place and it will be according to MK Ojo when this is it's already too late it's already too late and what is too late what is overdue is for the ambulance vehicle to come to pick her up that's what the fuck is too late that's long overdue I'm 50 and I'm still wasting my life on a shit like this that's what the fuck is too late November the 15th, 2021 it is.